Good morning, BC students. Today's agenda for Town Hall includes shout outs, important upcoming dates, reminders, and Google Classroom 101. Shout out to the Group B students whose first day in the building was yesterday. Shout out to all of our BC staff members for a smooth first day. Extra shout out to the paraprofessionals who helped with arrival and dismissal. And shout out to our school safety agents, Brathwaite and Yearwood, for keeping us running smoothly. And to our custodial staff for keeping the building clean and sanitized. Thank you. And we wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that has a birthday in September or this week. We missed a lot of you in September, so happy belated birthday to Frederick Calvins, Cody Mattis, Sharina Crooks, Carson Ravan, Madison Jack, Wits Brutus, Jeff Cordova, Ahmad Berry, Ajani Basil, Robert Warren, Stephen Peters, Janice Salomon, Cradell Cadigan, Damar Brown, Mario King, Shannon Hodge, Jordan Dennis, Amir Roberts, Kamora Martin, Kashim London, Cindy Jean Baptiste, Josiah Smith, Dylan Smith, Caden Smith, Nathaniel Allison, Miguel Martinez, Naeem Evans, Ryan Charles, Keanu Bowen, Jalen James, Chloe Carroll, and Adriel Flemings. Also, happy birthday to the one and only Mr. Yaya Saifula himself, Miss Jean, Miss Petrata, and one more secret staff member who does not want to be named. And this week to Rihanna Johnson, Mishara Sylvain, Kevin Edwards, Michaela Hope, and Tyler Phillips. Happy birthday, everyone. As a reminder, if you are in Group A, you are attending school on Mondays and Wednesdays, and your first day is next Monday. Group B, you are attending on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll come back to the building on Tuesday. Lastly, there's a school holiday on Monday, October 12th, in honor of Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. Some important reminders. Attendance, uh, unlike in the spring, is being taken during live instructional time only. So you must be present on your remote days in those Zooms and Meets that your teachers send out via Google Classroom. Okay. Once again, you must be present in those Zooms and Meets, otherwise your attendance is not counted. You cannot submit work at 3 a.m. for it to count. Okay. That did work in the spring, but it doesn't work today. So please make sure you are joining your teachers live. Okay. Attendance is submitted to the DOE at the end of every school day, so I can't even wait till 5 o'clock p.m. to see it. So please make sure you're joining when you're supposed to. Teachers are taking attendance every single period that they have that instruction time with you remotely. Circle work. Today is the last day for you to submit this week's circle work assignment, uh, which was to enter into our motto slogan contest. Next week, you'll be able to vote on some of the top submissions. If you want to get that uh, motto into the contest, please submit it today. Uh, iReady RTI. Everyone has iReady RTI on your program at some point during your week. Um, you should have received your iReady username and password yesterday. Please make sure that you open the email from me with that username and password. Uh, write it down. Put it somewhere where you're not going to lose it. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. All right. That way you can make sure that you have it uh, for the future. You should use this next week um, to complete the iReady diagnostic in ELA and math. Uh, if you wait too long after you've started it, it will reset and you'll have to start over. So please make sure that you complete it in a timely fashion. Please don't just click uh, through things because you'll have to retake the assessment then as well. Lastly, Google Classroom. Many of you have been uh, switching from blended to remote, which is perfectly acceptable. Um, but when you do so, you are switching your class sections. Okay, and so it's very important that when you go into Google Classroom, you make sure that you're in the right class sections. If you see multiple class sections in your classroom, then you're in a, an incorrect section somewhere. All right, so make sure that the class section that you are actually supposed to be in is the, are the classrooms that you see. I'm going to show you today how to access the classroom codes and to join a class if you are missing a class, and also how to leave a class if there's a class on there that you don't belong in. All right, everyone, so let's talk about Google Classroom. Uh, if you go to the website, www.brooklynsea.org, and you do have to put in the www for it to work, uh, and you go to the 2020 school year, there's a tab that says Remote Handbook. Okay, It's the Blended Remote Learning Handbook, and you can see the whole thing here. By clicking on that button, it will make it bigger and clickable. Um, so I'm going to go to the Google Classroom tab here. And look in the Google Classroom table of contents. 
So here's some of the things you can find in here, how to sign into Google Classroom, join the classroom missing, uh, how to get Google Classroom parent reports for any parents that are listening, submit work and view missing assignments, check for missing work, manage assignments, and then how the gradebook works. And okay, so I'm just gonna go to the next page. Um, there is a video tutorial here about how to sign into Classroom. I'm going to do it for you in just a second. But make sure that when you are signing in, you're using your full username with the app open SEA.org. Uh, it will not work if you don't use your full username. So the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, that if you are missing any of your classes, uh, there is a Google Sheet on the website and underneath both blended and remote learning. Let me go to blended learning. At the bottom, where it says Google Classroom Codes, if you click on this, it will have all of the codes for all of the classes. So you can find your class on the left, and say I'm in 601, C601 here, okay, and then all the codes for English, Foundations, Math, uh, Phys Ed, Science, Social Studies, and the classes 2023 are there. Those are all the Google Classrooms you should be in if you are in 601. So you can check this to make sure that you're in everything. If you are in a class section and it says something else on there, it says, um, I'm in 601 and it says 652, then you know you're in the wrong class and you can leave that class. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you can join a class by going to the classroom, clicking the plus icon, okay, and then using the class codes in that spreadsheet right here to join a class. It's very straightforward. So I urge all students to make sure that you have all of your classes and that you don't have multiple sections or different classes on in your Google Classroom, and uh, you can join those yourself. I wanted to log into Google Classroom and show you what this looks like uh, to do these things. Remember, you have to use your full app work on SEA.org uh, email address when you sign in in order to get into our Google Classroom. Then you type in your password. Remember, if you need your password reset, please use the tech support form on the website so that we can get that to you quickly. When you log into Google Classroom, you should see all the classes that you're a member of. So right now I'm in ELA and SSAT prep. I have a BC class of 2023, and I'm in the gym class. All right, so if you log in here and you see that you're in the wrong class, say that you had the class of 2022 and you're supposed to be in 2023 because you're in sixth grade, you can leave a class by clicking on the three dots to the right and clicking unenroll. It will ask you if you are sure you want to unroll, and you do so like that. And now you're unenrolled and that class should disappear. Okay. If you are in a class like 601 and you are supposed to be, uh, and you have a 604 section on your Google Classroom, okay, you can drop that class. Or if you're in 601 and you don't have uh, your ELA class, you can always go to our website Go down to the bottom of either the blended learning or the remote learning tabs and click on Google Classroom Codes. And there you will find all the class codes. All right, R-Y-K-Z-B-H-T. Okay, I'm gonna click Join Class. And I'm gonna join the class with that code. And okay, by clicking Join, and when I do that, it adds me to Mr. Novin's physical education class. All right, so that's how you can add classes if you are missing one of your sections. All right, please do double check that you are in all the correct sections. If you see 603, 604, 621, then you need to make some changes because you're missing your work and you're missing your Zoom meetings with your teachers. The other thing Parents, you can actually get a weekly or daily parent digest from Google Classroom. Uh, it's very straightforward. You just need to make sure that we have a valid email address on file. Um, if you use the tech support form on the website and request to be added to Google Classroom, we'll make sure that your email address that you request with is added to that Google Classroom. Um, when you're on the parent reports, you can get announcements. You can uh, view upcoming assignments. You can see grades and feedback that have been given. Uh, and you can select whether you want to do this as a weekly uh, digest, so you get a bunch of stuff in one email, or you can get a daily email. Um, it's pretty useful. Submitting work. Okay, I want to show you this in a second. I just want to highlight that when you turn in work, you need to make sure that you are clicking turn it in. 
or a mark is done. So I would use the turn it in button if I was assigned a Google Doc or a slide or something that I had to turn in after I edited it. Um, you have to click turn it in, otherwise your teachers don't see that it's there and it will be marked missing or late. Um, if it's an assignment where you're uploading something, say I'm doing a drawing and taking a picture of it, and then I'm uploading that drawing, you can add it with the add button, and then you can click mark is done. Um, if you don't click mark is done, it doesn't look like you've completed it. Even if you've uploaded something, even if it was a Google form and you did the form and you submitted the form, you have to click mark is done for it to show up as done in your Google Classroom. Otherwise, it'll say missing on all of your reports, it'll say missing on the parent reports, it'll say missing on the teacher's end. And there's an infographic here in this uh, handbook on how to check for missing work. And I'm going to show you this in a second. All right. But you go into your Google Classroom and you can look at the to-do list and then there's a box that you can check for missing assignments. And I just want to highlight this because this is something that um, some people have asked questions about, some parents, some students. So, and I've had other people say that they've done the work and again, you have to make sure that you turn it in or mark it as done. Otherwise, it's not going to show up as done. And lastly, there is a to-do list in Google Classroom. So if you go in the upper left-hand corner, there's underneath the calendar, there's a to-do list, which will show you everything that's upcoming and with dates on it. The other things that we spoke about earlier are the to-do list and the calendar. So if you click on the calendar, it will show you everything that's due okay, that week. So I'm only in a few classes, so the model and slogan contest is due for me today at 2.14 p.m. And I can also go to my to-do list, which will show what's due this week, okay, and it will show what's due next week and later than that. Okay, if I click on missing, it would show my missing work, which I don't have any currently. And so with the Google Classroom gradebook, if you are in here, you can click on classwork at the top, and then you want to click view your work. And it'll give you different categories. So it'll show you all of your work, the work that's been assigned, the work that's been returned, and the work that is missing. Okay. When you click on an assignment, you can see the feedback that you've been given on that assignment. You can see the grade that you've been given. Uh, and you can actually click on the assignment and go into it as well. So it's really important to keep on top of this. It's important that you check. Uh, for what's coming up, check what's missing, but also read your feedback, please. Your teachers take the time to write feedback on your work uh, so that you can improve your practice. And so if you're not reading the feedback and you're just looking at the number up here, it's not uh, doing what it's supposed to do. It's not helping you grow in whatever content area you're getting feedback on. And, and you can go in there and you can check out your grades. Okay, so if I click on a done assignment, I think I did this right. All right. so. Please make sure that you are using the tools uh, in Google Classroom. Make sure you're in the correct classes. Use the to-do list to see what's coming up to manage your work. Use the calendar manager work. It also says what to do today under each class. So if you go in here and there's something that's not done, okay, that's something you should be working on that day. Um, everything else. I know that was very quick, but everything else is in the Blended Learning Remote Learning Handbook, so you can go in and you can do that and follow those step by step. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we will see Group A on Monday, and we'll see Group B students again on Tuesday. Have a good one.